Okay, now China is making that high-tech stuff too. Okay, now how are you going to compete when you've got this political correctness? Oh, we've got to pay union dues, we've got to pay CPP and UIC, we've got to cater to the special interests. It's going to cost more because of health and safety. It's So when you figure that somebody can make a, a cell phone for a hundred dollars and the other guy makes it for four hundred dollars who, who do you who do you think that if and if they're both a good product who do you think is going to come out on top of course the person that can create the the cell phone for a hundred dollars well now the Americans the Canadians the Brits all of the Western countries their wages are so high, their expenses are so high, they can't compete with China. And you just wait. It's just a matter of time before they take it all over and are number one in everything. When that happens, what do you think is going to happen to the economy of the States, the economy of Canada, the economy of, the, the, of Europe, where everybody has to come to China because China will have all the money. Why? Because they produce things cheaper. They, sure, they're not as politically correct, they're, they they don't have the health and safety standards that the West does. But a lot of times you don't need all of those ed extra regulations, rules and regulations that tend to cost the producers more money. China just doesn't roll that way. You know, and it makes sense that they will take all of this over one day just because they've got such a large workforce, they don't have all the rules and regulations, they don't have to cater to uh, government taxes to, well, they, they do pay taxes, but, you know, the GST, the PST, the all of the extra little things that are tacked on in the Western world, you don't see that here in China. So what you're going to see is